Hey everybody, it's Miss T from the Children of Plainfield Public Library. Thank you for joining me for another special STEM STEAM project. Today's project, we are making a paper catapult. So it'll look a little something like this and also have a little cup inside. So what you'll need is paper and what I'm using is like um, a card um, something called card stock so think if you have if you ever uh, a card or received a card for anything and that paper feels a little thicker than like school paper that's that's the kind I'm using okay for this particular project also tape I have a roll of tape and scissors okay and also I'm going to use pom-poms to show how it works if you don't have pom-poms that's okay you can use and roll up you know whatever paper you have left and just roll it up and use it for your catapult okay um, if you have or if you are inspired by this project or any projects uh, that we have on our YouTube page and want to share what you've done, please feel free and email us a picture of your project at yp at plfdpl dot info. We want to see what you made, okay? All right, so let's get started with our paper catapult. Now, you have your paper. And you can first fold it in half. So just take it, fold it in half, let me corner to corner, just like that, like you're folding, you know, something to put away. Once you do that, you just want to cut down so that you have two half for a half on here for each hand, okay? So you want to cut using your scissors. And please, as always, if you need help, please ask a parent, older sibling, guardian, anybody who can assist you so that you can be safe, okay? So, you have your folded paper, you have your scissors, so you want to cut it in half. Once you've done that, you'll have a half for each hand, right? So, I'm just using scrap paper, so that's why you see all the writing on here. But you can, you know, use, if you, if you don't have the card stock, that's fine. You can use construction paper, anything, you know, if you have to use more than one piece at a time, just to give it some, um, a little more firmness, you can do that too, okay? Because you want it to be firm so you can, you know, be able to, to work it when it's done. All right, so, I'm going to now tilt this show you what you need to do all right so here we have our half so we're going to put one half to the side and we're going to first make we'll first work on the top part so the long part right here so the long part you want it to stand up all right just like this hello stand it up so we're going to fold it again just like that Okay, so that it's folded the long way. And then, you want to then fold again on each side. So, I folded it on this, I fold, made a fold on this side. And now I'm going to make a fold. You don't have to meet it in the middle. Just fold it. So that when you put it on your cylinder piece, it'll kind of have like a, a, a wall on it. Okay? Just like that. So it'll look just like that. So each side you fold it. You didn't make them meet, but you fold it just enough so that it looks like pretty much, if you have a pom-pom, I'm going to use this red one so you can really see it. It'll, you know, it won't slide off. So there you go. 
Okay, so we're done with this piece. Now, we're going to now make the round part, the cylinder. Okay, so that part, you may know how to do that already. So we're going to take piece number two, and we're going to lay it down. You're going to make it stand just like this, and then just lay it down, and that's how you're going to fold it on the short side. Okay, so we're going to roll it. Just like if you were rolling up um, a newspaper and just rolling it just like that. And then you have your piece right here. That part you need your tape for. So we got our tape. And now I'm going to put the tape just along the side. So it won't fly open. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now so that our and this is called a cylinder kind of like a you know like you can look through it or it can you know it'll roll another piece of tape and you want to tape it so that you got that whole side covered. So I use clear tape. It's hard to see it, but it's all taped right there. Now, we're gonna take this part and just lay it across like that. Now, I like doing this. You wanna make sure that you have um, some movement, okay? Because the object is you want, when you work your catapult, you want it to what? Move. Move. So you want to make sure that you um, place it so that you're able to have that movement when you're ready to use it. Okay? And also, I'm just going to cut off a little piece for our cup. So, I'm going to do that first. And I'll put that to the side. So I'm just cutting off a little piece. But we still have enough for our arm, the arm of our catapult. And now I'm going to take the tape. And we're going to now attach it. So, I'm going to put this on the back of here. Just like that. I'm going to take another piece too, do the same thing. And let's see what happens. I'm going to put that on here. And all ready. So it's nice and secure. You can lift it, it's not falling off, just like that. So now we're going to make the cup. So this part right here, you can go ahead and open it, make it smile, hello, <laughs> and just join it together just like that. What I try to do, I'll put it in here. You want to fit it first. Make sure it'll fit just like that. You can also feel free to cut it if you um don't want such a high cup. I think that's okay. So it'll fit a little something like that. Okay, I'm gonna move my hand so you see. I'll move that up. Ooh, just like that. Now, to tape it, I'm gonna tape this right here, this part right here, so you make it a, a ring. I'm going to tape. Put it in just like that, so now it's a ring. And we'll put it right back in, just like that. With more tape, we're going to secure it down. So, here's more tape. 
cup in, taking the tape, putting it down like that, and putting the tape all the way down on that. So there's the tape. So I put the attach the tape. Put it all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take a piece of tape. Make sure that the uh, ring is flat. And I'm going to bring it back over and under. Just like that. So now. It kind of looks like a person, right? <laughs> it got two arms. The cup is right here. The arm is attached. So now, we're ready to try it out. So now I have some pom-poms right here. And we're gonna see if it works. So, I'm using pom-poms because they're soft right? And you don't want to hurt anybody. Now I know we used to use or catapults were used you know for war and you know medieval takeovers but we're going to use our catapult for good, okay? So we're using soft items like pom-poms. So I'm going to put that back down and we're going to see if it works. So ready? Let's see. Hey. Let's see. I'm going to put another one in. in. Whoa. Now I'm going to try a big one. You ready? Oh. Try it one more time. Wow. <laughs> now you can do this, you know. You can set up a target if you want to, if you want to knock something down, or if you want to aim for something, you know, you can do that as well. You can have a lot of fun if you have somebody that you also have, if some, if you have a partner and you're both catapulting over to each other, you can do that too. You can have hours of fun with this. And the good thing is you made it with your own two hands. So I hope once again that you are inspired to make something. Okay, so nothing more easier than a catapult. It was easy and with, like I said, we're going to use our catapult for good. So once again, if you are inspired to make one or any other project, um, please feel free to visit our YouTube channel and send us a picture of your project at yp at plfdpl.info. That's our email, and we'll post that picture up, and you can uh, brag on it and tell folks, hey, I did that, okay? So once again, this is Miss T from the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you have a excellent day. Take care, and until we meet again, please stay safe. Bye for now.